Learn with me, explore with me, grow with me. See what, see what I go green. The apple wall, subscribe, like, share, comment, let's get into the video. Dan, 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 dan. Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Fine, guys. So in today's video, we are going to tell you some astronaut names. That's joking, guys. In today's video, we are going to tell you the top five insects that went to space. You got to laugh to see it, yeah? So let's get into the video. NASA has a content for sending some strange stuff into orbit, but for scientific experiments in microgravity, nothing beats birds. <laughs> Number one, fruit flying. The next time you sweat at a buzzing pest, consider that a progeny may one day travel to the stars. A fruit fly is the scientist's best friend. Ever since Charles Woodward suggested that Harvard University invest in the insect in 1999, experiments on fruit flies have spearheaded advances in genetics, cell biology, and medicine. As scientific explosion, Exploration turned skyward. Fruit flies were an obvious choice. In 1947, the United States strapped a few hapless flies to a V2 rocket, launching them into the limelight, limelight and the first animals in space. In 2006, NASA sent 15 fruit flies into orbit on the Space Shuttle Discovery. Which returned to Earth two weeks later with more than 3,000 flies on board. Then scientists discovered that Micro had taken a serious toll on the fly's immune system. NASA proposed a fruit fly lab for the International Space Station due to launch later this year. Number two, silkworms. When not producing fear, these mortal larva occasionally travel into space. The silkworm's destiny is so intertwined with our own that it can no longer exist in the wild without human assistance. So it's only fair that we can take the worms along for the ride. Silkworm eggs and lava have traveled into orbit on NASA space shuttles and journeyed alongside astronauts for decades. But our relationships with these creatures is sure to soar with the news that silkworms may soon shift from truly psychics to tasty space snacks. Chinese scientists recently suggested that silkworms low in maintenance and high in protein would make excellent meals for long space waves. It sounds pretty awful until the silkworm space cookie made is David. <laughs> Number 3. A colony of plants. NASA announced the arrival of 800 ants on board of the International Space Station. Although C5 has already po posited about a thousand ways, this could turn out poorly for humanity. Fear not. The experiment is in safe hands while our trained astronauts are looking after the space ants. A score of earthbound control ants are being continuously monitored by elementary school students. By studying ant behavior in microgravity, scientists hope to learn more about the, how the insects interact in unique situations. Scientists suspect that ants navigate by assessing their population density relative to their habits. So space should be an utterly confusing place for the insect astronauts. But hey, at least we aren't planning on eating them. <laughs> That's funny. Number four. Let's get this out of the way immediately. Yes, there are spiders in low Earth orbit. No, the spiders are not from Mars. 
Scientists wondered whether spiders would be able to weave their elaborate webs in microgravity, which prompted a trip to space in 1973. All through their webs uh, were in initially sloppy. The spiders eventually produced a web comparable to those built back home. NASA's fascination with spiders culminated in a mission that sent two of viewer spiders to the International Space Station. The arachnid dots fared so well about the ICS that NASA actually ordered another mission soon after. But history will never forget the first brave spiders in space that distinction belongs to Arabella and Anita whose bodies remains on display at the Smithsonian Institution in Washington, D.C. Number 5. Honeybees In an experiment clearly designed to terrify everyone on board, NASA sent 3,500 honeybees into orbit in 1984. Researchers found that the bees were capable of building honeycombs in microgravity and that their beehive structure was essentially the same as it would have been on Earth. In the future, honeybees may hold the key to pollinating of world crops, but possibly because no one wants to ship thousands of stinging insects into orbit ever again. Subsequent honeybee studies have been conducted on Earth in low pressure chambers. The results are promising as honeybees seem generally indifferent to most low gravity and low pressure conditions which means that space honey la future mama be possible after all you guys i hope you enjoyed today's video please plant a tree stay work stay water go green thank you for watching the video Please like and subscribe, share and comment to the channel. Apple World. Bye bye guys. See you in the next one. Wow.